Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi and uh, today we continue with our topic and our topic of discussion is assets, bases and indicators. Uh, during the last lesson we discussed the commercial indicators and the colors they give in different solutions. So we saw some solutions are acidic, they give a particular color with a particular acid. Other solutions are basic, they give a particular color with a particular indicator. So today we are going to discuss another indicator that is known as universal indicator and we are going to discuss it together with what we call the pH scale. So universal indicator and the pH scale. Now, unlike other commercial indicators that we discussed in the previous lesson, uh, we have another indicator that is called universal indicator. And this one is usually a mixture of several indicators. It's usually a mixture of several indicators. And it's the only indicator that tells us whether a solution is a strong acid or a weak acid or whether a solution is a strong base or a weak base. All the other indicators that we have learned before, they were uh, showing whether a solution is acidic, full stop. But they were not going ahead to inform us whether that acid is a strong or a weak acid. But for the universal indicator, this one answers that question. So it gives different colors with strong acids and different colors with weak acids. Different colors with strong bases and different colors with weak bases. So you can say that universal indicator is a mixture of several indicators and is used to tell the degree uh, or the strength of acidity or basicity. So it's the only indicator that tells us the strength or the degree of acidity or basicity. So universal indicator is used together with the pH scale. Uh, you can say that uh, it is used together with a pH scale. With a pH scale uh, ranging from 0 to 14 depending on the strength of acids or bases. So we'll have a, an illustration of the pH scale. It's a scale that ranges from 0 to 14, 0 to 14, between 0 and 7, that's the middle. Of course, here we have acids, we have acids there. Between 7 and 14, we have bases, and then at exactly 7, we have neutral. When something is neutral, it means that it is neither on the basic side nor on the acidic side. Then uh, it has values, pH values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 
12, 13, 14. So at pH value between 1 and 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. up to four here, these are strong acids, up to four. Between four and seven, these are weak acids. So as the acids near the pH of seven, which is neutral, they become weak. Also, the bases, eight, nine, ten, as they near the neutral, they are weak bases. But as they move away from the neutral, that is 11, 12, 13, 14, these ones are strong bases. Yeah. So this is a pH scale showing the strong acids that have a pH of between 0 and 4 in between there. So it can be 1, 2, 3. That's a strong uh, acid. If it is uh, 5, 6, those ones are weak acids. If their bases are 8, 9, they are weak bases up to 10. The strong bases are 11, 12, and 13, all the way up to 14. So those ones are the way you tell whether. So we have the strong acids up to there. Bases up to that. Then finally up to that. So we have the pH scale uh, helping us to know that uh, these acids are strong or weak. Now, where does this value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 come from? Uh, the universal indicator is used together with the, uh, what we call the pH color chart or the universal indicator paper. And that paper has different colors and each color has a pH value. So if you get a color, for example, that is red, you may find the pH value there is either 1 or 2. If you get a color that is uh, orange, the pH value will be 3. So we can say that uh, universal indicator is used together with a pH color chart, with a pH color chart having different colors, different colors and corresponding and corresponding pH values and corresponding pH values as shown as shown below so we'll still have the same uh, pH scale from 0 to 14 the midpoint is 7 pH 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if the pH is 1, 2, 4, 5, 5. So we are drawing another pH scale showing the different colors. So pH of 1 and 2 the color is red, the pH of 3 and 4, the color is orange, and the pH of 5, 6, the color is yellow. At exactly 7, 
the color is green. So we have different colors uh, on the color chart showing the different values. So value of 1 and 2, the color is red. That's a strong acid. Uh, 3 and 4, also a strong acid, but pH 3. Yellow, the color is, uh, the pH is a, a 5 or 6. That is a weak acid. So we can use it together with that. So 8, 9, and 10, here the color is blue. And then 11, 12, the color here is purple. And then above 12, the color is violet. So that is the pH scale showing various colors on the color chart. So various colors on the color chart. So if the color is red, it's a strong acid. If the color is uh, yellow, it's a weak acid because it's 5, 6. If the color is green, it's neutral. If the color is a blue, weak base, purple and violet, strong bases. So we are saying that the universal indicator is used together with the pH color chart. Each indicator has a color chart that shows the pH values. So one red, two, uh, one and two red, three and four orange as shown there. So these ones indicate the value. So the higher the pH value, the weaker the acidity or the weaker the acid. The higher the pH value, the stronger the base. So you can say that uh, from the above, pH scale, we can conclude that one, the higher the pH, the weaker the acid. The weaker the acid. Because you can say that strong acids have low values. Weak acids have higher values. So the higher the pH value, the weaker the acid. And vice versa. In basis, the higher the pH, the weaker, no, the stronger, sorry, the stronger the base. As you can see, bases, strong bases have higher values, weak bases have lower values. So the higher the pH, the stronger the base, and vice versa. So an easier way of telling whether an acid is strong or weak, as you move closer to 7, the acid becomes weak. As you move closer to 7 on the base side, also the base becomes weak. So as you move towards 14, the bases become strong. As you move towards 0, the acids become strong. So you can also say that uh, in this direction, we have increasing acidity. And on the other side, we have increasing basicity. So we have that. So at that point, we can have an assignment on the universal indicator uh, and the pH scale, as we have uh, explained.
So the assignment, the first question, what is universal indicator? Two, how is universal indicator different from other commercial indicators? Number three, determine whether the following solutions are neutral, comma, strongly acidic, weakly acidic, strongly basic, or weakly basic. So we have solution X, Y, and Z. The pH value is given. So you're supposed to say whether it's a strong acid or a weak acid, or a strong base or a weak base, or is neutral for each one of them. So we'll stop there. Until next time, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.